welcome back so in this video next we are going to create a route table so click on route table on the left create a route table we can ignore all of this these are already made so we're going to click a new route table i'm going to name tag it as i route table so vpc which vpc we're going to create uh, uh connect to it to we know this one is showing up but uh, since we are already working with this one i'm going to go with that and just create if i click it that's it it's been created i'm gonna close it and it's right there but we need to go and actually do some settings on it the reason is that right now if you can see routes it's only allowing the local traffic meaning whatever is within this uh, private uh, cider block so we but if we were to run an EC2 instance we want that outside traffic the internet traffic the people fall from all over the world to come and connect to our server for that reason we have to add this so we're gonna add it the routing table and we're gonna add a route for internet it's 0.0.0, .0. it's already there so this one uh, is for the internet and where we are going to take it so we are going to take it to uh, internet gate and that's my gateway right so I'm gonna click it over here and I'm gonna so I'm gonna save it but oh we're still not done yet the reason is right now the internet traffic is connected to our internet gateway but we need to do the subnet association as well remember we have a subnet inside that cider block so we need to connect it properly and for that uh, for certain What's happening here cancel let's go back added subnet associate no where it is it was just right here oh we did not create a subnet in the ivpc that's why we created that inside that uh, wizard so that is why it's not showing up but basically what you have to do is you have to associate that uh, in subnet to uh that uh routing table that we just created so it can properly route that let's see that if we can do it with the uh route table we added this is there a way to add this to vpc mm, i believe yes ivpc and and I actions edit ciders okay mm. no I should know I should be in gateways and this one should connect to detach from VPC uh, and we're gonna quickly connect it to that i dot vpc slash user we can't find that vpc for some reason here i don't know why it should be here nope so this is going sideways right I, wa I wanted to show you how to do that association but you get the idea um, I'm gonna just uh, wrap this video here and uh, delete uh, uh, my sub uh, VPCs and both of them let's delete it You know what I'm gonna oh right there yeah delete oh that's a cool feature okay action let's see since I have deleted that this should go live right so if I go to internet gateways 
see now if I can see that uh, we don't have any VPC. Create VPC. <laughs> okay. We can quickly create that actually. I dash VPC. No VPC block. We're going to go with this 10.10.0.0 .10 .0 slash 24. That's the cider block. I know I'm not going to use this one. All right, so let's delete this as well. We don't need that. And so for the routing table, um, my bad, but still you have to do it that subnet association with that. Um, <coughs> once you click it, it, it will show you the public subnet over here that you created with your uh, VPC. All you have to do is just click on it like this and save and that will be it i'm gonna wrap this video here and i know it's uh, not uh, uh, very straight through video but uh, if you are here and you're learning this you probably know what uh, it is all right thank you for watching see you in the next one